ericmoditmother.com. I just noticed here that when I was taking a look at Gollum, and it is up about, let's call it about 12 to 13 percent for the day. Uh, on my watch list for the cryptos, it's one of the best performing ones for the day. But I want to notice, but interestingly, But interestingly enough, if we take a look at the charts, it looks like after today's nice move, it's coming to a level of potential resistance, which might offer a swing trade to the downside. Now, this is the four hourly chart. And I am using RSI of 14, just to be sure. I want to show you two lines, pretty much telegraphing the same type of a scenario. Number one, there's a line. On this RSI if we draw it like that we can see that this was the break recently of that high we came and tagged that level with perfect uniform resistance for that hourly closing high and then we are doing the same thing here so clearly looks like this is a level of resistance if one was to make a bet the odds do seem to point to a pullback so that's one line the other line is the uniformity resistance line let's let's get rid of that line there and you can see again we see that this is where we broke down for swing trade lower of those highs here we take that information and draw our uniformity resistance line and you can see that the market has hit this level with uniform action and is coiling back. Because of that uniform action rejection, hence the method uniformity, and I'm going to have a link in the description of the video explaining the method, you can see that this is also trying to suggest that the odds point that the next meaningful swing trade is to the downside as long as resistance continues on this line. And also if I bring back the previous line, as long as we continue seeing resistance, then chances are the next meaningful direction in terms of a swing trade is lower. Now let me add some other observation and it is the fact that if you take a look here, this is also RSI 69.1 uniform activity rejection. As you can see here, suggesting this is where one can expect a pullback. And even we can see on this chart, the last time we had a uniform activity rejection at the 69.1 level was here. And of course, we had this pullback here. Let me share with you one other observation, which is now based on the daily chart. And the daily chart right now is struggling. Even though the stock is moving higher, we are struggling to maintain levels above 69.1. So the more 69.1 is resistance also on the daily. Chances are we are looking at Gollum based on current prices, potentially giving us a look that odds are it pulls back as the next meaningful short-term swing trade. All right, so what I'm doing here is I am fast forwarding. It is the next day and we're taking a look again, a continuation. And what we see here is after I recorded yesterday's video, I noticed that GNT actually was failing, or let me put it another way, GNT was holding above the lines I was drawing. So just why I want to make a follow-up video here. Since recording the initial part of this video, the stock or the cryptocurrency is actually, believe it or not, up as much as 46%. And so I want to explain why it has done so well in the face of the previous comments. So this is a current trading. See the stock is trading has gone as high as 94 cents. And explanation here is not too complicated. Number one, remember we had drawn our line, which was the back test line. And what you'll notice is that the stock has actually used the line for support. So this is important to understand that what happened here is it looked like it was breaking down. It held above the line by the close of that period. 
and then has come back to test the same level and bounced higher. Keep in mind, this is all taking place with the RSI holding above 69.1. And because the RSI is above 69.1, we can see this explosive move over the last, let's call it, um, day or so. So the reason why it is doing well is, again, because it did not fail when it came back to test this line. Actually, what happened in reality, the stock has gone above the line. And more importantly, it has held above 69.1, which means that it is very strong and the possibility of higher prices still exists. So that's one reason. The other reason is our uniformity line has also been taken out. Remember, we had drawn this line here and the stock at the time of recording, the initial portion of this video was trading below this line. But now notice what has happened is that it recovered, held above the line, and also has used the line for a bounce. And keep in mind, the takeaway here is that it held and has refused to drop below 69.1. Because of that, we see this almost a 40 to 45 percent jump since the recording yesterday. Now, also couple this with the idea that on the daily, take a look at the daily RSI. The daily RSI, which was looking like it was struggling to hold above 69.1, now we can see that the daily did go and take out the 69.1 level. Once an instrument is trading above 69.1, this is the type of action you tend to see. So, looks like it was failing as of yesterday, but what happened is that it negated and actually moved above the resistance lines, and more importantly, on the four hourly and on the daily, it also held above 69.1. So we see a good example of what happens when an instrument does not respond to projected resistance lines. And you also see a good example of what happens when an instrument is able to defend and stay above the RSI level of 69.1. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!